Hey yogis, happy Tuesday. Different from Monday, this is when it's happening. Let it happen whenever it's time or whenever you feel. So I'm here for you and this is YouTube, so um, you can just watch to your heart's desire. Mikey Yoga here, um, happy to practice right now, mostly because I got funky. <laughs> I started feeling like, you know, my ebb and flow today had been too uh, flowy. And I was like, oh, be careful because you don't want to crash. And I was like, maybe I'm crashing. So before that, I'll decide to change what's happening. So rather than sort of sticking with what I know, which usually is, okay, now I'm just going to uh, hide and, um, and self-seclude, uh, I decided to, I'm going to make this and uh, a lot of teaching uh, online now and in this way, videotaping. Uh, I've transformed this to feel more live-ish, so uh, in my own way, I'm here with you right now, wherever you are and whatever time you're taking this. Um, part of this is also coming out of a med meditation that I have been kind of playing in my head, so it's different from the traditional seated meditation, I've been more kind of ruminating, right? So anything that sticks in your mind that you perseverate over, that you talk through, that you keep kind of flipping scenarios in your head, or, or you just allow to mantra, you know, through your daily, you know, thought process, your wanderings, is meditation. And uh, this was suggested by a friend, and, and it's, it's really true because I think that now, um, it's in the air, but for me, as I sort of on a personal level, it's been sort of, it's been time. I've got this kind of feeling like I'm like, I know there's something on the, on, on, on the edge of change, on the edge of something that is about to change. And I'm thinking, gosh, am I, am I ready to disrupt the comfort that I have? Even though this COVID time is uncomfortable, I'm, I'm very much in the mix of like who and what and when and, and how I do things in my home and all the regular stuff. All right, so the opportunity now is to, to feel, all right, if you really mean it, you know, uh, talk it out, you know, bring it to your community and say it to your friends and then and allow yourself to actually be brave to make, make just the next step that will change your mind not change your mind and talk you out of doing that sort of making that disruption in your life but but take the next step that helps you stop talking yourself out of change right and so if you've ever been to my yoga class and you take it um, often enough there's always a disruption right we've learned yoga from someone else or somewhere and we've done it a certain way and then all of a sudden you come to my class, not that I've recreated the wheel, I just might have just thrown a wrench in what you feel comfortable knowing, right? Ooh, I have to put my salmon in the oven, which is great. This is time to start. <laughs> so um, it's, it'll be perfectly timed, right? Bring your hands to your heart and to uh, the, the gods of the oven and well-timed fish. Um, We'll take three breaths, inhale when you're ready, and exhale when it's time. More like that, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale. Let it out nice and smooth. We're gonna meet in down dog. I'm just jogging off the camera for one quick second. When you get to down dog, right, pedal through what we, we look for when you know that you're starting, right? When you're beginning your practice and and you're sort of like, oh, this is how this is how I set myself up to get familiar, right? To know something. Um, that has sort of been part of your practice that you've been doing, whether you do a power yoga or you do a flow, or maybe you're in hatha or yin or any of the other types of yoga, right? So, you know when you first come to the mat, you're looking for comfort, right? But maybe 
And this is sort of my, my Mikey trademark is, why don't we just start with the sort of the open heart for surprise, <laughs> right? So you're in down dog, lift and lower your heels a couple times, up on the inhale, and then lower on the exhale, but not necessarily meeting the floor. And then your next inhale, uh, come forward to plank pose. Okay, keep the shoulders over the wrists, then look forward, a little lift of the chin, keep your belly tucked in so it doesn't sort of drop your hips, okay? And then push your heels farther forward so your chest goes towards the edge of your mat. All right, then pick up the hips and float back to down dog. So what we're doing here is we're, we're challenging the concept of the limits of where our muscles have been trained, right? So we might not be fully developed at the top of our pectoral muscles towards our collarbones, or maybe we haven't sort of quite tapped into that place where we've toned up our quads in down dog, where we can really get that sort of that full capacity of our hamstring stretch, okay? We'll tie those two more times. So you inhale first to plank pose, making sure you've got all the necessary components, tight core, medium toned at core, um, of, of glutes, Right, and then gently just let the heels push you farther forward. This is gonna feel your collarbones tug down and back towards your thighs. And that means you've just activated sort of the upper portion of your pectoral muscles. Right, lift your hips on that next exhale so when you find yourself back in down dog, right, you land in this place where you're like, yeah, my feet are sit bone width apart and I'm gently feeling as if I'm squeezing my legs towards each other, not just the thighs with the calves too, but there's still space between, right? You're gonna feel that really translate into your tailbone and your sit bones, which is sort of the top of those hamstrings. All right, next inhale, come to plank pose, lifting the right leg. So you're in a three-legged plank, and you're gonna take this right into chaturanga to the floor. Okay, so it goes through three legged chaturanga to the floor. Keep the thighs on the floor for this first one, cobra pose. Right, so you just first come up, shoulders back and down. And then you're gonna come to a all fours and roll right into that cat position that you're used to on your um, cat cow pose. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, and float back down. Right, this one starts from that, that, that little extra point of reach plank pose. Right, go right into that, that little extra piece where our heels press us forward and make us feel like, wow, I'm really angling over my hands, right? Lift through the hips, that's also gonna stretch the forearms a lot of a lot. And we're not gonna go too sort of heavy into that, but this is gonna be our sort of our version of adding a little weight bearing to stretch it. Reach back in the down dog. And then your inhale, when you come to plank, lift the left leg. Three-legged plank. I know a lot of people lift and they only sort of get that foot like an inch off the floor. Activating to the glutes without arching the low back, right? So keep tucking the tailbone when you pick up that leg. And your exhale, elbows bend till you land to the floor. When you inhale this one up, keep the neck long and lift the thighs so you get your little up dog action here. Whew. Okay, knees do go to the floor so you can round into your cat pose, all fours. Tuck the toes here, lift the knees, down dog. This time when you go forward to that little, that extra point of plank pose, you're also gonna lift that right leg, all right? So you get that little upper quadrant engaged, glutes as well, and then tuck your right knee in towards your face. Face to knee. Right foot place between the hands. So that's gonna pull you on that knee tuck from your lower abs to your upper abs, okay? Right here, we're simply just riding this up to a warrior three, and then back down to a low lunge. Two more like that, push into that right foot, up to warrior three, down to a low lunge. All right, you can take it as slow as you like. Inhale to warrior three, exhale to low lunge, and now go back to three-legged dog, and then open the hip. Okay? We're gonna come forward to three-legged 
plank, three-legged chaturanga, and then an up dog. Go to all fours, round the back, tuck the toes, lift back to down dog. All right, so here's that three-legged dog, left leg lifting, shoulders past the fingertips, all right? So really coming forward and up. Tuck the knee into your face. Place that foot between the hands, and then take your next inhale when you're ready, four or three. All right, your arms can go in any direction that serve you. Lower down, nice and smooth, low lunge. Inhale up, four or three. Exhale down, low lunge. Inhale again, four or three. To exhale, low lunge. This goes back. First to a square hip, three-legged dog, and then you choose the opening. All right, choose the opening to come from the tips of the fingers and primarily from the right hand, the palm right into the right armpit that slides across the ribs to that left glute where it goes towards your sit bone or your elbow, right? Come forward to three-legged plank, down to three-legged chaturanga, and then with your up dog, cat pose, rounding, right, that includes tucking the chin, so you get to stretch the neck, tuck the toes, lift the knees, and you're back to down dog, big inhale, and big exhale, alright, look forward, we're going to actually jump our feet forward between the hands, or just behind them, where we usually have them underneath our sit bones. Knees bend. If you're not in the mood for jumping, don't jump. You get to the front. Inhale through a flat back. And then exhale, fold. So you give yourself a, a nice moment to uh, appreciate uh, how quickly things change when you decide to just let them and uh, kind of move into those things. So this is still familiar, but still this is unknown, right? So not always the same practice. Inhale through a flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. Nice. Inhale all the way up to stand. Reaching and then folding again. Ooh, this is just a 20 minute practice. Just enough to time to bake some salmon and uh, to, to really enjoy a little bit of something uh, new on a Tuesday, right? Inhale to a flat back. Your exhale, knees bend, hands touch. You're gonna to step your left foot back to low lunge, and then pick the whole thing up to high lunge. Right, bend the left knee, and then right here, try to straighten the right leg while you keep your posture up and down. So it's the left knee, back leg bent, front leg straight. Then you can follow this. Low lunge, hands to the floor, right leg back, three-legged dog, with um, square hips, keep the leg lifting. So when you come to three-legged plank, you go past the fingers, you really reach forward, and then tuck the knee. Right, press this back. Here's the three-legged dog with an open hip. Right, you can look to the left and enjoy that. Awesome. Use your exhale here again. Pull the knee forward. Keep tucking and rounding the back like that. That cat pose so that you can gracefully place the foot. And pick up to warrior three, three of these. Arms forward, then low lunge. Right, inhale, warrior three. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior three. And then come all the way up to stand. Woo! Arms reach, and exhale, fold. So there's a little bit of a change from how we started this. So we're developing our warm up into our sequence, right? Inhale to a flat back. Your exhale, when you fold in, hands touch. Right foot steps back, low lunge. Looks good, and then inhale up, high lunge, belly's in. Okay, right knee bends, right? So you get that knee bent, and left leg straightens. Okay, so. Get to feel that, that sense of like what's pulling you up rather than just what the legs are doing with the floor and feet. 
right? Feel the belly pull in. You wear it narrow in the center. And then you pull all that energy up like you lighten up into the fingertips, maybe with the eyes too. Simultaneously, left knee bends, right leg straightens, hands touch. Left leg goes back. Then we go for an open hip, three-legged dog. Okay, just tend to noticing if you feel your hands push the floor away, the armpits kind of lift, the upper arms kind of draw upwards, and then your heart can sink and sweep to the left. All right, come forward, three-legged plank. The shoulders forward, left knee tuck, place the foot, and then ride that up, warrior three. To low lunge. All right, up to warrior three. To low lunge. And one more time, warrior three. To stand. Right, so I find that one of the cutest, strangest places to pay attention that I've enjoyed is going from that warrior three up to stand and feeling the toes of the foot that you're standing on push the floor away. And that's what brings your heart up. So the tiny little bits of the toes bring you up into your full posture. Inhale, arms to lift, reach. Exhale, sit to chair, there are those thighs. And then come to a forward bow, tuck in. Yay. All right, one little pass through each side and we'll have our sequence for the day. Inhale to a flat back. And your exhale, knees bend, hands touch, left foot steps back. It's low lunge. Inhale to high lunge. Whee! And then left leg straightens. Left leg bends. Right leg straightens. Stay upwards, right? So we're going to take this to a twist. You're going to bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, and turn your twist over the right shoulder. That's pretty good. Okay, left hand to the floor. Right arm is sweeping up, so it's that lunge. Reach twist, but take that right arm more forward towards the front, and then hand touch the floor, right leg sweeps back, three-legged dog. Okay, go for the open hip. We like that. Okay, come to a three-legged plank pose, and then three-legged chaturanga. This is when you're gonna straighten the arms and place the foot. We're gonna come up to a Warrior three with a Natarajasana. Left knee bends, right arm is forward. Hold the left foot. Awesome. This is going to come up to stand. Left knee lift, both arms up, and then sit to chair. This is going to be sneaky, so we're going to take this into a tiptoe chair and then sweep the arms down. You're going to go here. Hop to the knees, and then back to Chaturanga. So your hands to the floor, and then Chaturanga to Up Dog. Okay, up Dog to Cat Pose all fours. Then Toes Tuck, back to Down Dog. All right, we have one more side. Left side, look forward. We're going to hop feet to hands when you're ready. Knees bend. Nice, bright lift. Come up to a flat back. Exhale to fold. Okay. Inhale to a flat back. Knees bend. Right foot steps back. Low lunge. Pick that up. High lunge. Here's that variation. Left leg straightens. Right knee bends. Woo! <laughs> Maybe a little wobbly. Right? And then when you go into that left knee bend and right leg straighten again, then you twist over that left shoulder. Okay, you're gradually coming from that right heel into the low lunge with the left arm reach. Your eyes can look past the fingers, and that's nice too. You sit in that left hip, left hand comes down, left leg follows back, open hip, three legged dog. Super cute. Inhale to that, that reaching three legged plank to three legged chaturanga. Chest is open, straighten the arms. Place the foot, and you're gonna step right up into your Natarajasana. All right, holding that right foot, right knee lifting, heart sinking, and 
And that left foot presses you up. Standing with right knee lifting. Sitting. Do you land a chair pose? Rocking up off the heels. A little more tone in the upper back, mid back two. Hands come down. Right here, knees hop to the floor. And then float back, chaturanga. Up dog to all fours. Tucking the chin, rounding the back. Quick little cat cow for sure here, for reels this time. Right, your inhale, chest open, arch the back. And exhale, round the back, tuck in. Two more like that. Inhaling, tipping the pelvis forward, chest opening. Exhaling and rounding. One more inhale. Lifting the chest. Feels nice. And then exhale. Tuck again. All right, here we come to stand on the knees. And we're going to take uh, three little uh, Ustrasana back bends. Uh, they're, they're camel poses, right? So you're standing on your knees. Um, sometimes it's nice to start tucking the toes, especially since this is a short sequence and we haven't done a ton of back bends, right? So right arm up to begin. We're going to first take a little side arch to the left. So left hand slides down the left thigh towards the knee, right arm to the left. Maybe you have a mirror there, <laughs> right? And then when you come up, it's like you're circling to look over the shoulder, right? Drop your, bra your braid back. Grab your right heel, that's left arm, to reach and to lift and to stretch back behind you. So left arm is reaching towards the space behind you. Shoulders are dropped away from your ears. Right, left arm brings you up. Woo! All right, and we compose. Here's number two, right? Right arm down the side, left arm to the right. Just kind of staying in the plane where your knees and your hips and your shoulders are. Side, it's a side bend, right? In a comfortable place from your neck. So a little lift of the chin, eyes towards the tip, fingertips. Inhale up, woo! This is where the left hand reach back, go towards the left heel or thigh. Even higher to the hip would be fine. And then right arm is just going straight back, right? Glutes have a nice tone to keep the low back clear. Feet pressing down, and that right arm brings you up. Okie dokie, right? Making sure all is well. I'll face the front a little bit this time. So I'm just, I like to, um, I've been following these kind of mobility guys. And this is like, I'm not even describing this because really, if you think about just kind of doing like a squiggly wiggle, just kind of do a knee standing worm or a pedal back or like a, a rager screech, right? Like that white guy with his teeth out and pumping his fist towards the ceiling. It's the club. Who knows what the club is. The alarm's gonna go off in a second for my fish. I will, I'll catch that. <laughs> this is our last one, so I don't wanna miss it. All right, take both arms up, and you're gonna actually go into your round like you did through a cat pose, right? So you're kind of tucking your chin, pulling your belly in, scooping the tailbone under, and then when you come up, surprise, you're open, you're lifted, you're sweeping your arms back, and you're either going hands to hips or hands to heels, and you're in full Ustrasana, tailbone tuck. Hearts open, and take three breaths here at least. You're inhaling, you exhale, you feel that space across the collarbones, right? You feel that space across the chest, over the shoulders, down towards the fingers. Okay, your fourth inhale is when your feet press down to lift you up. And there you are, right? Just sweep this around to a quickie little seat. We're gonna go for just like a little kind of a reaching side bend. So right knee is bent, and depending on you and your hips and your knees and your ankles, your foot could be farther away or closer in. Your right hip will probably, sit bone will be a little bit I gave it a couple minutes, it'll be fine. We can do this. Left hand is gonna hold the right ankle. So there's your anchor. You're pushing down to your right heel. Like I was saying, your right butt might not be on the floor. Right arm is going up, so you're turning your chest 
towards your bent knee, and then you're leaning out over your left leg, maybe just reaching into the sky or the space above, or perhaps your hand makes it to your toes or to your foot. And then right here, think of pressing your left arm into your left thigh or your elbow, right? And widening your right knee away from you as you widen that right elbow away from your right knee. Ah! Right, so that one, release, come up. It becomes, it's a therapeutic pose if you're willing to kind of take it in and you can only notice that it's that way when we do it at the end of class, right? This one is virtually never done in the beginning of class um, for a lot of reasons, but um, who knows, right? I can be surprised. Okay, switching sides, left knee bent. You got a little space in that left butt, but it doesn't matter. You might actually sort of gain some room in that hip where you might be sitting down right here, right? You do have at least 90 degrees in the legs, I believe. Right hand goes to the left shin. Okay, left arm is up. And then you're just gonna let your exhale sink wherever that elbow or shoulder might land on that right leg. And then where you may explore and be surprised by what changes, what's different here, what you're willing to do, or maybe what you never thought you could do until you just let go of that, that negative notion. Right, chin lift, right? Notice where you're holding on and see holding on to your energy and to your muscles and see if that muscle engagement can't also set you free. So what can you let go? What can you afford to let go here? Woo! Okay, left arm pulls you up. Oy, oy, oy. All right, knees pull in. You just go for a little seated cannonball. And we're gonna go first down to one low boat. Up to a cannonball and then take a little Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together, knees wide, and you got a little tuck. You don't have to worry about this one being too precise. It's just a finishing hip opener. Right, your eyes could be closed. You could be whatever, however you want to. Maybe you're ready to start something a little bit longer or more intense, a different video, uh, a little extra, or maybe you want to do the whole thing over again. I don't know, right? Have a great Tuesday, have a great whatever day this is that you're celebrating. Enjoy you, stay cute, talk soon, and challenge what you know and what you don't know. Boop, bye.